hi everyone hope you're doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel this is the platform where i come and share my knowledge and experience with you all now this is the next part of our learning journey uh, for a functional consultant in the first part uh, we have discussed about the list of topics and the features for the finance and supply chain consultant which you can learn now in this video i'm going to explain about how you can learn those things what should be the learning approach for you considering you have a lot of resources a lot of things to cover so how you can learn that so that is what we are going to discuss in this video if i further move uh, just a quick recap uh, we have divided our learning journey into three parts what to learn which we have covered how to learn is this video and in the next video, I'm going to explain where to learn the list of uh, the portals and the places where you can find your decided topics and then you can learn. And this is about what to learn. Uh, now let's see, uh, today's video is more focused on the how to learn step two. So this is just a kind of a framework which I have uh, created for you. This is my own uh, experience. Uh, if you have a better approach, you can follow that. But if you are not sure about the approach, you can follow this way. So what you can do is that first is that you create the it, ha, it you can divide this into the two parts. The part one is to uh, learn your fundamentals, and the part two is that going deep dive into a specific topic. So in the part one, what you should start with is that create your uh, own learning overall end-to-end uh, -end process which you want to learn. So for example, you have decided journal ledger and under journal ledger, you have decided uh, you are going to work on the chart of account learning, right? So what you can do is the next thing is that you can pick up a topic which is your, uh, let's say chart of account or financial dimensions or you can talk about the purchase order creation or any of the topic which you have decided. So first decide the overall end-to-end -end process. So it can be the module or the process like a procure to pay, order to cash, record to report, or a topic like let's say under chart of account. So you pick up that topic first from your learning. Okay. Then you should go to log, you should go to official Microsoft Learn portal and find out the content about that particular topic so that you should do it so why it is required because you should understand the basic concept at least from the microsoft perspective so it will clarify you what microsoft thinks what microsoft has built okay so that is what you should do it and then next thing which you should do it that go to the dynamics environment and practice right now you might have a question that how to log into the ms portal which url we should follow how you how you can log into a dynamics environment and practice so i'm going to explain that in the next part uh, uh, of this series so wait for that and i'll post it uh, soon okay so the first part is to just a quick recap that you go and create your end-to-end -end learning process pick up a small set of a uh, list of topics or one topic from there go to ms learn uh, understand about that and go and practice that now this part this approach will set up a base for you that what that topic is and it will give you a better idea about this particular topic now the next thing is that you might have that you want to learn more about that topic so let's say the chart of account or creation of purchase order or managing the price and the trade agreements or anything right if you want to learn more about that now you have covered the ms learn fundamentals now you want to go and deep dive into that particular topic so how do you do that then you can jump to the part two approach of this framework where once your once your base is established and now you prepare to go in depth of the topic you can log go to youtube or you can go to community forum or there are different tech uh, tech blocks are there so go and search that specific topic there and find out you might find lot, a lot of blogs youtube's official tech talk from microsoft community forums blogs will be there microsoft blogs will be there so you can go and refer those for a detailed learning for that particular topic okay so that learn uh, from identified source in details for those selected topics and then in case if you have 
let's say further clarifications are required you still have some questions about that you're getting some errors or something then you can utilize the community dynamics community forum for the question and answer now by following this part two of this framework and this approach you can make sure that you understand the in and out of that specific topic so this is how you can define your learning approach in case you are not sure that how you should go step by step in your learning okay so that's it for this video now in this video i have spoken about couple of things like learning from ms learn log into microsoft dynamics environment referring to the community forum the tech talks the blogs on community posting the question and answer on community now in the next part i'm going to cover all of these things so uh, watch for that uh, and i'll be posting that soon okay that's it for this video hope this is going to help you in defining and your uh, creating your own learning approach for the selected topics and the learning path you have defined in your step one thank you keep watching and keep referring thank you